Pharaoh was in had to overcome a lot of adversity in his life. In spite of the many challenges he had to endure, Pharaoh Bussin grew to become one of the most accomplished and influential people of the world. When he was only six years old, Pa lost his mother in a house fire which started in the kitchen while she was cooking. Unfortunately, Pa and his siblings were nearby but couldn't do nothing to save her. In 1915, Paul Robeson was awarded a four-year academic scholarship to Rutgers University. He was inducted to the Phi Beta Kappa Society and Rutgers Cap and School Honor Society. He was valedictorian of his graduating class in 1919. Rutgers later awarded Paul Robeson Honorary Master of the Arts degree in 1932. Paul Robeson was um, only African-American student at the time and the third African-American to attend Rutgers. When Paul Robeson went to try out for the football team, he was assaulted by other players trying out for the team, breaking his nose, dislocating his shoulder, and stepping on his hands. Even his own teammates treated him horribly just because he was black. While recovering from his injuries, a shaken Robeson questioned whether he should had be returned to the football field. Then he remembered what his father, an escaped slave who had become a pastor, had told him, that on the field, in the classroom, or anywhere else, I wasn't just there on my own. I was the representative of a lot of Negro boys who wanted to play football and wanted to go to college. And as the representative, I had to show that I could take whatever was handed out. He was named to all American football team twice in spite of open racism and violence expressed by his teammates. In his sophomore year at Rutgers University, Paul Robeson played against Washington and Lee University where they refused to play a game with an African American on team on the team. Sadly, the coach benched Paul due to his color of his skin. However, this mistake was not made twice. Unfortunately, the next time they played, the coach refused to bench Paul Robeson and the game continued. Paul Robeson or Roby as he was known for Rutgers was often called Superman, a football genius, the wonder of in the age. On many on the field, many also referred him as six feet, 200 pounds of de dark devastation. Paul Robeson also played basketball at Rutgers. At the start of a 1918 game against Colgate, their players knocked Robeson down to keep him from getting the ball this happened frequently to Paul, but it did not stop him. He will always get back up with a smile on his face and renewed motivation. Robeson had an outstanding athletic career as the first black football player at Rutgers University, winning 15 varsity letters in baseball, football, basketball, and track. And Paul Robeson was also a part of the Glee Club but was banned from traveling with the group for performances and was excluded from club events. Paul Robeson, one-of-a-kind bass baritone voice, made him world famous and his renditions are still played today. Paul Robeson graduated from Rutgers and went on to Columbia Law School. After graduation, he was hired by a law firm but he was told that he wouldn't be given cases because of his skin color. He left the firm and the practice of law when a white secretary refused to take dictation from him. Paul Robinson's stage career took off and he performed all over the world. He went on to such states as Texas in Showboat, Porgy, and Bessonothea, which was noted by some critics as the play's greatest interpretation. Paul Robinson's version of Old Man River is the most famous version to this day. He starred in 13 films between the 1920s and the early 1940s, but decided, but decided to stop making movies until there were better opportunities for blacks. Paul Robeson used his deep baritone voice to promote black spirituals, to share the cultures with other countries, and to support the social movements of his time. He sang for peace and justice in 25 languages throughout the United States, Africa, Asia, Europe, and the Soviet Union. Robeson became known as a citizen of the world. He was as comfortable with the people of Moscow and Nairobi as he was with the people of Harlem. Wherever he traveled, Robeson championed the cause of the common person. 
Every attempt was made to silence and discredit Paul Robeson because of his political views and dedication to civil rights. In 1958, he embarked on a successful three-year tour of Europe and Australia. Unfortunately, unfortunately, illness ended his professional career in 1961. He lived the remainder of his years as a private citizen in his sister's home in Philadelphia. He died on January 23, 1976 at the age of 77. For his steadfast commitment to his social conscience, Paul Robeson, activist, scholar, artist, athlete, was shunted from the center of America's cultural stage to its wings. For a generation, his memory was obscured and his achievements forgotten. But the centennial of his 1898 birth has sparked new debate about his place in our history. The spotlight that once again shines on this Rutgers alumnus illuminates a rich legacy, a man of fierce dignity striving against immense adversity.